Yeah, I mean, I don't think that we were particularly bad at first, uh, nor were we particularly good, but, um, you know, we started getting to the front of the net and getting some bodies there, uh, and being able to get after some of the rebounds and second chance opportunities, so, uh, you know, I, I thought we moved their feet pretty well in the first, obviously a little bit better in the second, but, um, like I said, overall, you know, bounces didn't exactly go our way in the first, but I didn't think we were that bad. Bodies in the, the front of the net, making sure we're stopping on the box, doing all the little things right. You know, and I think for the most part we did in the first period, um, but we did them with a little more emphasis and a little more uh, vigor in the second, which is, you know, where things started to pay off for us. Definitely going to the front of the net um, in the second period paid off for us with some of those goals. So, you know, we just continue to move our feet and things happen for us. Uh, Kyle struggled a little bit for, um, you know, for him and the type of game he plays. He was we got back to doing the things that he does well in the second, and he's obviously rewarded for it. So um, it's good to see a guy pot a couple of goals and, and, like I said, get rewarded for it for doing things the right way. And, um, you know, he definitely put the team on his back and did what he had to do in the second period. He does back in the game. I think uh, he's definitely very good in the dressing room. And, uh, the way he plays on the ice is exactly the way we like all of our players to play. He's uh, very tenacious in his own game. He's very defensive minded. Um, he's obviously got offensive abilities. But he's not worried about putting points up. He puts points up when they're there and, and doesn't cheat for anything. So um, his leadership for the way he competes and the things that he does on the ice um, from a defensive standpoint is what makes him stand out as a leader to us. Um, you know, the guys that we did have return are all character kids and being great guys that have helped them um, not only get used to the game, but get used to you know, being in that junior lifestyle. So um, it's been a pretty quick transition for him, and, and you know, a lot of them are here very well with us and doing well learning the systems and adapting to you know, being in the junior dressing room and the responsibilities of the whole I think that Justin Murray would probably be the closest in the bunch. Um, he's an eighth round pick to uh, Barry. He's a, a very skilled defenseman. He's got to get a little bit stronger, but he definitely skates well enough. Um, he thinks the game well enough to play at that level. It'll just be a matter of a year of um, getting stronger and getting uh, used to the speed of the um, It was a really hard decision for us. Back and won the Southern Cup, and um, you know, had learned from Scott over three years. I uh, was a longest standing member, and you know, that's not to say that it just gets handed to him at that point. He also has all the qualities and leader that we're looking for. You know, he doesn't give up on prizes. He's, uh, like I said, very tenacious in his own and defensive minded. Um, he's a great player to use as an example to teach other guys how we want them to play the game. Good. Um, you know, it's almost this, this early in the season, it's kind of goofy to say, but it's a four point game. And, uh, for us to get behind early and, and you know, show the, the character and the will to compete and get back into it in the second and third is obviously a huge step for our club.